Hi guys, you're watching Interesting and Pickers. Today we have an insanely interesting video about Believe It or Not. In our world there are many myths and false facts that we are used to believe in and our task is to verify them. Today we'll check whether it is true that a newspaper lying on the water is like concrete if you fall on it from a height. Is it possible to dissolve the sheet of styrofoam in a small glass of acetone? Is it true that one drop of lemon juice can burst a balloon? And is it possible to charge a mobile phone from the ground? Well, there is such a fact, myth, legend or whatever you can call it, that if you put a newspaper on the water and jump on it, the effect will be like concrete and you will break your bones. I heard about this a long time ago when I went to school. I'm not so good at physics, so now we'll check before our own eyes whether it's true or not. We take a regular newspaper, the most common one, and put it on the water, like this. Do you believe in that? Yes, I do. I hope my teacher forgive me for this, but I believe. Well, I don't believe in that. I think there's some kind of nonsense because this is just a newspaper that you can just tear and when it gets wet it will become even softer. Well, now we'll see everything. By the way, yes, it seems to me that during the time that we spoke, the newspaper has become very soft and now anything can tear it. Therefore, I suggest that if our object does tear it now, then we'll put another dry one and throw something on it right away, until the newspaper gets wet. So for testing I took tomatoes, of course I won't jump here myself, I took soft tomatoes so that if there is a real obstruction like in concrete, then it should be completely crushed into small pieces. So let's try. It torn. Our newspaper is completely torn, so now we'll conduct the same experiment but with a dry newspaper, at least not as wet as this one was. This time I'm putting two sheets down so that the newspaper is as dry as possible. It will certainly be wet, but not the same as last time. I have to throw the tomato right away. So let's do it. Well, basically this time it was much better. The second tomato almost tore the newspaper. Yeah. So to improve the experiment, we decided to increase the height from which the object will fall. Now we are going to drop our objects from 7 meter height, from that window. Yes, from there. We think this height is enough to understand if this is a myth or truth. As far as I can see, it's very high here and what we are throwing now must definitely break apart if it's not a myth but a fact. I put the paper. I hope you don't miss it. Let's do it! <laughs> you missed it! <laughs> the tomato tore up the newspaper, but it itself remained intact. It survived. We are 80 to 85 percent sure that this is a myth, but nevertheless we decided to try all the same, but this time with a light bulb. Now we'll try it from a height of 7 meter, if Sergei doesn't miss it, because we have just two bulbs. The result is same. So after all the experiments, we come to the conclusion that this is a myth. Regardless of whether the newspaper is wet or not, one layer or two, and from what height you throw the objects, the newspaper doesn't become like concrete. Even the light bulb didn't break up. The next myth is that in this glass of acetone, you can dissolve a whole sheet of styrofoam. See how much of it. Now look at this volume of the glass. And look at Ficker's face. I believe in it 70%. Well, you write in the comments if you believe that it can dissolve in this glass. The first thing to do is drink it. Just kidding. You need to pour acetone into a glass. It shouldn't be drunk in any case. It's really dangerous. Should I pour it to full? A bit more? Yeah, it's enough. How? How to do it? I suppose that it needs to be broken down in order to put it in the glass. I don't know. Let's try it, right? Yes. <laughs> As if it's boiling. Whoa. Interesting. Oh, wait, there even nothing floats on top. It just dissolves. Well, let's do it again. 
Wow, this is amusing. It's kind of boiling. Wow, this is so cool, but how? How does this happen? Look, there's nothing left of the styrofoam. Acetone became turbid and that's it. The whole piece has dissolved. There's nothing but debris on the surface. But it has turned to into something. Can we dissolve the whole shit? It's turning into some kind of thick liquid. This is really cool. It looks quite interesting. I like these experiments. Do you like it? Write in the comments. That's it, it doesn't dissolve anymore, so this is a myth. The acetone didn't even dissolve half of the styrofoam sheet. Look, only 10 to 15 percent it was able to dissolve. It turned into a slurry and now the concentration of acetone is several times less than the concentration of foam in it. So the foam no longer melts. However, the slurry can be used as glue. Do we need to glue something? As you understand, this is a new experiment, it will check if the balloon can burst with just a drop of lemon juice, just one drop of it and the balloon should burst. Do you guys believe it? Because do you believe it? I absolutely don't believe in it. How can juice burst rubber? On the contrary, I believe a little in this because the lemon juice is called citric acid for a reason. Therefore, if it is acid and the rubber is thin, then the juice can pop it. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Come on. Well, I'm ready for nothing to happen. Damn, I scared. Nothing happens. Why? Well, I told you. I told you it was a myth. Guys, the balloon didn't burst, but in the places where the juice dropped, you can see that the paint has become much lighter. Do you see the light stains from the juice? Maybe these spots are not so visible to the camera. Therefore, the lemon juice could just corrode the paint, but the rubber is intact. Don't scare me, I'm afraid of explosions. So, this is a myth. So, the fourth and most important and the most interesting task for today is whether it's possible to charge a phone from the ground. The essence of the myth is that you can just take some kind of two iron packs, wrap it with wire, pour it with a solution of soda and salt, and you can just charge the phone. Do you agree this is a nonsense? Well, now we'll check with this nonsense with fakers. I took the pegging from the grid, it's ordinary iron packs. I'm curious if it makes difference into which ground to insert these iron packs. In sand or black soil? Yes. At first we decided to try using this copper wire, but it seems to me that nothing will work with it because it is thick and the current will go somewhere. We'll repeat the experiment with a thin wire with which probably it will be much more reliable and stronger. For our experiment, we even specially bought a phone because we thought it would be difficult to charge the an iPhone as it has its own charging system. Now we need to cut off this completely new charger like this. In general, according to this myth, you need to connect plus and minus to these wires. I have no idea how it will be. We decided that we would first connect the phone and then pour the solution. As we understood, you just need to pour the solution on it. So far, no result. Generally, to no avail. Maybe it's because of the big wire, I think so. We decided to take a thinner wire, which will fit more tightly to the iron pegs, hold on to them more tightly and we'll repeat this experiment again. To improve the experiment, we made only a saline solution and we'll try all the options to make the experiment as transparent as possible. Come on, charge the phone! Nothing happens at all. In general, we tried all the options, we didn't show you all of them. Well, we realized that this, from our point of view, is still a myth, because we don't know what else to try. Everywhere it was written that you need to do just like that. Therefore, we believe that this is a myth. So it turns out that all four myths have remained myths. 
All four experiments showed that these things do not work. Well, if you like this video, then hit the thumbs up and write in the comments what to check in the next video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. It was interesting and Ficus with you. See you soon. Blah, blah.